about that. Thank you. Um, yeah, you can continue, please. Okay, so I said we should move to category A, where we belong to the policy making, you know, sector, and then the decision making group. And then again, there should be a unified system of education where everybody will go through university education. I am not against School of Nursing. I started there, but we can we can attest to the fact that it's not really helping us yes it is true that we learn a lot over there but it's not it's not contributing to our progress it's not contributing to our progress i'm i'm looking at a future where we'll have all the nurses graduate nurses and then the placement will be the same because as it is, they do not know if, if, it, if it's ND we have, if it's HND we have from School of Nursing or whatsoever. And because of that, governments do not also know the right placements for us. Should they be placed on level one, level two, level seven? I guess it's freezing. Yeah. Uh, I think we are having a in point. the university. Can you hear me now? Okay, it's good. Yeah. Hello. Go okay. On. So if all the nurses go through the same process of five years in the university. And then see additional one year or two years for area of specialty and then leaving school will all be placed the same level as other sectors other arms of the health sector i'm sorry i don't like mentioning medical officers or the rest because we're very many but then nothing is being seen as the least so if we all go through the same process nursing as nurses and then maybe extra one year or two years for any area of specialty of one's choice will all be blessed on the same level and then everything will go smooth so there should be unified system of education our mother body should help us do that now orientation of nurses is another thing that should be done orientation of nurses either it should be in, either it should be introduced into the curriculum or once in a while it should be brought up in you know in the school and someone said someone someone said she took her daughter to the university a private university she had admission to do medicine and then surprisingly what she heard the uh, faculty head said to the the daughter amazed her that from day one, she was told that she's a lion and that every other person in the school bows to lions. I don't even understand. Yeah, and that yeah. she's the head and she should carry herself up there. Every other person is just under her. That this school is just these sets of people, you know? We do not, we didn't have such orientation. We just went in there from grass cutting to water fetching to mobbing of the classrooms and the rest so there should be proper orientation of nurses that this is what nursing is this is what nursing stands to represent and then associations should roll out programs to improve nursing image we do mcpdp programs we everything that is being done there's just management health conditions and the rest Programs that should improve nursing image should be incorporated. And then quackery must end in Nigeria. Our body, our mother body, myself alone cannot go to private hospitals and say all the quack, uh, all the auxiliaries move out. It is our mother body that will help us do that. So it should be done. I think maybe another time we have 
opportunity to talk together we'll share the possible ways we feel we can end quackery but for now our mother body should help us end quackery thank you thank you very much thank you very much um before the last question what advice do you have for the public hello yeah i'm here i'm here with you now what advice do you have to the public especially on nursing image because i know hey, that my advice sorry my advice to the public sorry. sorry i know there is a slogan that says not all people in white are nurses i don't know whether you key into that so what advice do you have for the public okay my advice to nurses first is that they should know that we have a role in promoting our image we have a role in promoting our image nurses everywhere should help to put nursing and nurses out there in the public you know to put nursing in the right frame and nurses out there should know that they are they are the public eye people are on the lookout to know to hear to see what will be done by a nurse and it's not the positive that they want to see it's the negatives so my dear colleagues should be careful as they relate with others as they talk with others it's always saddening when something that was was shared amongst colleagues will be heard you know among other people who are not nurses so what is being said in nursing meetings should not be disclosed to other people our dear nurses married to other people like the doctors the pharmacists and the rest should do us good to save this nursing by not taking what we discussed in the workplace to the house there's no relationship between workplace matter and your bedroom matters please save us that image do not go and discuss us at homes you know if you're dating anybody you're free to do so but please while on duty respect yourself as a noble profession that you are in nursing is a noble profession anybody is free to date anybody but please don't bring it to the workplace and then dress decently to work choose to be addressed properly talk factually logically and constructively never abuse a colleague in the presence of a patient a co-worker or whoever never say the the secret of you know nursing to people that should not hear and then develop yourself self-development is key if you do not develop yourself you remain at the status quo people will still consider you at that level so step up pursue your education if you have masters go for phd we need nurses to back all these you know qualifications it is high time we left the rn rp rq rz of the matter let's go to what is being obtainable thank you thank you thank you it is high time we leave all this uh, whatever arm ar that we know and we have to move to we have to join the wagon of i mean how it is it is going around in the world thank you very much uh now that will take me to the final question which is your final word for this particular show even though we are still coming up on the show for another beautiful topic again well, well that thank you um yeah you can continue please okay so i said we should move to category a where we belong to the policy making you know sector and then the decision making group and then again there should be a unified system of education where everybody will go through university education 
I am not against school of nursing. I started there, but we can we can attest to the fact that it's not really helping us. Yes, it is true that we learn a lot over there, but it's not it's not contributing to our progress. It's not contributing to our progress. I'm I'm looking at a future where we'll have all the nurses graduate nurses and then the placements will be the same because as it is they do not know if if, it, if it's nd we have if it's hnd we have from school of nursing or whatsoever and because of that governments do not also know the right placements for us should they be placed on level one level two level seven um I, th I think my guest is present <laughs> I think we are having a in the university can you hear me now okay it's good yeah hello go okay on. so if all the nurses go through the same process of five years in the university and then see additional one year or two years for area of specialty and then leaving school will all be placed the same level as other sectors other arms of the health sector i'm sorry i don't like mentioning medical officers or the rest because we're very many but then nothing is being seen as the least so if we all go through the same process nursing as nurses and then maybe extra one day or two years for any area of specialty of one's choice will all be blessed on the same level and then everything will go smooth so there should be unified system of education our mother body should help us do that now orientation of nurses is another thing that should be done orientation of nurses either it should be in, either it should be introduced into the curriculum or once in a while it should be brought up in you know in the school and someone said someone someone said she took her daughter to the university a private university she had admission to do medicine and then surprisingly what she heard the uh, faculty head said to the the daughter amazed her that from day one she was told that she's a liar and that every other person in the school bows to lions i don't even understand yeah, and that yeah. she's the head and she should carry herself up there every other person is just under her that this school is just these sets of people you know we do not we didn't have such orientation we just went in there from grass cutting to water fetching to mobbing of the classrooms and the rest so there should be proper orientation of nurses that this is what nursing is this is what nursing stands to represent and then associations should roll out programs to improve nursing image we do mcpdp programs we everything that is being done there's just management health conditions and the rest programs that should improve nursing image should be incorporated and then quackery must end in nigeria our body our mother body myself alone cannot go to private hospitals and say all the quack uh, all the auxiliaries move out it is our mother body that will help us do that so it should be done I think maybe another time we have opportunity to talk together, we'll share the possible ways we feel we can end quackery. But for now, our mother body should help us end quackery. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, before the last question, what advice do you have for the public? Hello. 
yeah i'm i'm here with you now what advice do you have to the public especially on nursing image because i know hey, that my slogan, advice is, sorry I my know is, advice is to slogan, the public sorry, sorry i know there is a slogan that says not all people in white are nurses i don't know whether you key into that so what advice do you have for the public okay my advice to nurses first is that they should know that we have a role in promoting our image we have a role in promoting our image nurses everywhere should help to put nursing and nurses out there in the public you know to put nursing in the right frame and nurses out there should know that they are they are the public eye people are on the lookout to know to hear to see what will be done by a nurse and it's not the positive that they want to see it's the negatives so my dear colleagues should be careful as they relate with others as they talk with others it's always saddening when something that was was shared amongst colleagues will be heard you know among other people who are not nurses so what is being said in nursing meetings should not be disclosed to other people our dear nurses married to other people like the doctors the pharmacists and the rest should do us good to save this nursing by not taking what we discussed in the workplace to the house there's no relationship between workplace matter and your bedroom matters please save us that image do not go and discuss us at homes you know if you're dating anybody you're free to do so but please while on duty respect yourself as a noble profession that you are in nursing is a noble profession anybody is free to date anybody but please don't bring it to the workplace and then dress decently to work choose to be addressed properly talk factually logically and constructively never abuse a colleague in the presence of a patient a co-worker or whoever never say the the secret of you know nursing to people that should not hear and then develop yourself self-development is key if you do not develop yourself you remain at the status quo people will still consider you at that level so step up pursue your education if you have masters go for phd we need nurses to back all these you know qualifications it is high time we left the rn lp rq rz of a matter let's go to what is being obtainable thank you thank you thank you it is high time we leave all this uh, whatever our arm that we know and we have to move to we have to join the wagon of i mean how it is it is going around in the world thank you very much uh now that will take me to the final question which is your final word for this particular show even though you are still coming up on the show for another beautiful topic again wow thank you very much thank you very much sir my final words yeah i am happy that nursing in the 21st century are changing the narrative but from now we never had things like this in short it was said that nurses shouldn't go you know uh, on social media and the rest but i'm happy that things are changing now nurse ngozi Ese, one of the nurses that i follow passionately she talked about um that there's power in your license i like every nurse to know that there's power in your license nurses are not just um a bedside you know glued there's so many things that a nurse can do ranging from 
entrepreneur um, entrepreneurship to school health services to the rest just explore do not limit yourself brace up you are a hero you are a hero a hero you do not you, you're not second to any other person you are the first and you are the best of your kind so at workplace wherever you find yourself know that you are simply the best and that without you there will be nothing like the health sector so keep up and then press up thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much i think i would like to appreciate my guest uh she's uh, she's the ceo of um i did nothing i mean nothing services with the aim of uh, promoting a uh, not good nothing image um thank you very much for coming up on the show nurse um i don't want to otherwise you will find me for the second time <laughs> now simon bong uh thank you very much for coming up on the show i appreciate your time even though we have some technical issues i mean initially and i want to believe that um this particular show is to educate people most especially people to know about nursing and especially on the nursing image side um they should be well informed they should be well educated and they should know who the i mean who the person that is treating them and i want to appreciate your effort as well for coming up with this particular idea and i want to believe that you are going higher because it is the current issue that we're supposed to i mean to to dig in seriously and um, for us to to, to 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 move ahead and you say, said it rightly that things are changing with the century this is 21st century we are no longer in 19th 18th 17th century and we must move along with the wagon and things must change for betterment of the profession thank you very much for coming up on the show thank you for taking your time i appreciate sir thank you for having me thank you thank Thank you very much. And to my viewers, thank you for staying tuned. Uh, for those of you that you are not with us, I know some, some of you have gone to work. It's not a good time for you. Don't worry. You still have access to this video on my YouTube I mean, channel. I'm going to upload it. You can still access it and look, I mean, li listen and watch the video. Most especially, my guest has been able to give us, she didn't just talk alone, but she gave us some cogent, I mean, uh, uh, advice and I mean solutions on how to solve this particular problem even she went to the extent of sharing her own personal life experience for us to know how in-depth this image has been bastardized and how wrongful things are going around and that is why she come up she came up with this uh a uh, uh, platform our uh, organization to work to see how things can be ameliorated thank you very much you can still have access to the youtube channel you can watch and comment and share around and thank you very much thank you sir bye thank you bye